This meeting is being recorded. Greetings to all. I am Deshi Ostri of DAV Chandanagar. I am Kanishka Vansal of DAV Chandanagar. Today we would like to throw the light on the topic Sri Lanka economic and political crisis. Hey Kanishka, do you know that Sri Lanka is mired in deep political and economic crisis? Oh, why is that so? It is because Sri Lanka, a successful Sri Lankan governments have long been living beyond their means and employing a debt to lower strategy to keep their country afloat. In short, the country was relying on new loans alongside revenue from tourism and international remittances to pay down its debt, and experts blame President Raj Paksha's poor economic management for this condition. Oh, and you know, I have heard some other reasons too. It has unfolded in different stages. First, Raj Paksha declared temporary state of emergency, giving security forces sweeping powers to arrest and detain suspect. Then Sri Lanka's cabinet resigned. Eventually, Raj Paksha loses his majority, and country faced many difficulties. Like the country was out of the life-saving medicines, and Manain Kumar declared to be the day of violence in Sri Lanka. Oh yes, I have heard this too. And I guess the reason behind this is the violence is that a, a mob of government attacked peaceful protesters camped outside President Raj Paksha's office in Colombo. Nine people were killed, and hundreds were injured. And the crowds during fire. Into the uh, the crowds began setting fire in the house of the politicians. Exactly. Also, the president house stormed, and at least he flees the country. It is clear that Sri Lanka once again might go back to the condition of pre-war phase of political instability and violence. Yes, but you know, in this time of need, India is coming forward to help its neighboring country, Sri Lanka, and is planning to give dollar three point eight billion. Yes, let's just hope. that this uh, crisis come to an end as soon as possible thank you yes thank you